I'll tell you how excited I am to be up here again. I enjoyed this so much last year. Uh, a little bit has changed since then. I got engaged. Woo! Yeah, I, 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 it's been a crazy year. I, I can't say that I've ever been happier in my entire life. Uh, I, I'd say we have the almost perfect relationship right now, but that comes with building on it. This wasn't always like this. When we first started dating, we sat down and we said, let's just go over our fears. You know, I think you can tell a lot about a person by what their fears are. And so she goes, okay, well, you tell me what your fears are. I go, uh, spiders? I don't know, the deficit? Uh, and she's like, oh, spiders, oh, I'm gonna get you. And she started going like this, and I'm like, ah, right, well, you, what's, your, what's yours, huh? What's your biggest fear? She's like, um, probably being sexually molested by someone close to me. <laughs> I just went, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> but she's she's definitely taught me a lot of things. I think she's she's made me a much better person. I, as cliche as it sounds, she's taught me to live, laugh, and love. She's also told me or taught me that if a woman's going down on you, the worst thing to call her is a cocksucker. <laughs> said it either. I mean, there might be a way that you could, like, oh, cock sucker. I said it like she cut me off in traffic. Like, cock sucker! Uh, she's put up with me, though. She's fantastic. She's definitely, uh, she's lived with all my flaws. I'm a little erratic, especially with, I don't know, there's, uh, follow me on this. Today is all about misinformation, right? It's, it's, it's just truth and lies are all garbled up into one. Like, if you want to say the earth is flat, there's a website out there. It'll be flatearthsociety.com. Or you could say, vaccines will make my kid dumb. Vaccinesrevealed.org. <laughs> or you could say, the Holocaust was a lie. SeanDonahue.com, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, watch your career start and end in two seconds. <laughs> in public, too, I gotta rail it in. Like, I, I just fly off the handle way too much. We went to Perkins, not to name drop, but we went to Perkins, and I ordered a barbecue chicken sandwich. Simplest thing. And what I got was this garbled mess of that. And I, it was with my outdoor voice, said, this looks like a chicken jihadded on a bun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what the wait staff did too. <laughs> I really shouldn't joke about that though. Uh, ISIS is kind of a real thing and it's not cool. And it's weird because they're all the way over there, but they're making YouTube videos. And that really messes with my head, because I watch a lot of YouTube, and every YouTube video ends the same way. So we're watching this, and it's like, let this infidel's death be a strike to the heart of all the Western world. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And also, please follow me on Twitter at all about that money. <laughs> And I didn't want to bring him up because it seems like it's just too easy right now, but Trump exists. So, yeah, let's just go there. I don't really have much to say about him because he basically is his own worst enemy at this point, but it just admit, like, there's a lot of things the president can do that I didn't know the president could do. Like, CNN will run a hit piece, then it'll be like, CNN can suck my dick. And then that's just in the presidential archives forever. <laughs> But he let go of one piece of information that blew my mind. Is, is he let go that the U.S. military had someone inside ISIS, someone deep inside ISIS, a job that I could not, I couldn't think of a scarier job than that. Because, well, one, you're this far away from death every time. And two, to keep your cover, you got to kind of do ISIS stuff. And you can only use so many excuses. You can't be like, ah, I can't really behead that guy today. My shoulder's just, oh. See, what is that, the rape orgy? Oh, man, my stomach's just, oh, I can't do it. Oh, that's right, let's end it on rape orgy. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. Thank you.